Well, local groups are trying to round up local veterans, asking, where were you 70 years ago this June? They're looking for a special group of soldiers. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live from the Veterans Memorial in downtown Asheville. Ashley, local Rotary Clubs are putting out the word. That's right, and they're extending an extraordinary office, offer to any American soldier who was in Normandy, France in June of 1944. The trees were shot away, the bodies floating in the surf, the smell of gunpowder. Clarence Dotson was just 18 years old in an army boat floating in the Normandy Harbor, waiting and watching. I had never uh, witnessed anything like that before in my life. He's 88 now, but Dotson says he still thinks about it often. I was scared. Everybody else was. It was sort of a hushed time on the boat, quiet, because some of us realized we would never get back home. Dotson has a medal from that battle. I was there on D-Day. It's often considered one of the most important in world history, and it was called Operation Overlord at the time, and it happened 70 years ago this June. These guys are getting up in years, and uh, this may be our last opportunity really to thank them. Rick Devereaux met Dotson after Devereaux was tipped off by the older man's doctor, who had heard about Operation Overlord 2014. The project is designed to try to round up all the surviving veterans of Operation Overlord, bring them to the National D-Day Memorial for the 70th anniversary of D-Day this summer on June 6. Local Rotary Clubs are right now searching for vets in the mountains who were there. We're going to take them there in air-conditioned buses. We're going to feed them. We're going to put them up in the hotels uh, both nights. It's a four or five hour journey north North that Dotson is looking forward to. When you meet one that was there, you can almost visualize and almost feel like you're there again. Now, if you know any vets that may have been there on D-Day or you want to get involved, donate, get involved with this project, you can head to our website at WLOS.com and click on news links to find out some more information. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, Ashley Searles, News 13.